He's a sign and giant and doing his thing. Hey woodworkers, I'm your buddy Dave. Welcome back to the Saws and Jaws Workshop. This is episode two where we're gonna be getting jiggy with it, yo, yo. And we're gonna focus on five key table saw jigs. That's right, over the next five episodes, we're gonna look at one key jig per episode, and we're gonna show you how these jigs elevate the performance of your table saw to something you didn't think possible. So starting with episode two, we're gonna take a look at the table saw crosscut sled. And I can't wait to show you how that bad boy is gonna rock your world, baby. So let's start making some sawdust and get right into that. Okay, hey woodworkers, uh, we're back. And um, the first jig we're gonna demonstrate uh, in this segment is the crosscut sled. Now if the table saw is the heart of my shop, this jig is certainly my pacemaker because you know what, without it, I would die because it is so handy um, and at, at what it does and what it does is to cut off wood at a beautiful and crisp 90 degree angle um, and that is an important angle in woodworking as you all know the jig itself is made out of a lot of the material that we talked about you can see the jig deck here is made out of a three-quarter inch Baltic birch plywood I've got a European steamed beech uh, fence here this is a hardwood fence milled perfectly flat and square on all four sides. This is the critical side here and 90 degrees here as well. A buddy of mine uh, made that for me a long time ago. I've used it on a couple of jigs. So I want to give a shout out to my buddy Francois. He's an uber woodworker. So he's the one that uh, made this for me a long time ago. I just keep using it. Um, the uh, underside of the jig, let's take a quick look at that. As you can see, this is the business end. These are the hardwood runners that run in your table saw miter slots. Now the most critical thing to get right when you're making one of these guys is to make sure that when it fits into the miter slots like that, there is absolutely, I'm trying to wiggle that, there's absolutely no wiggle in this sled so that you know when you push it through a cut, it is going to cut true. And that is a, that's a, an important thing to, to uh, keep in mind. So let's set up for our first cut. What we're going to do just a simple cut off. We've got a piece of wood here. You can see I've got an end here that is not square. I've got another end here that is perfectly square at 90 degrees. I've measured it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay that guy there and we're going to mark a 90 degree line right across the face of it here. Get some lead in there. Mark that out. So there's our simple cut line. Again, there's no rocket science here. Just a nice line there. So what we're going to do, we're going to line that up on the saw curve. So this is the saw curve. Either side of this is a true zero cutoff. So the blade rides right in that curve and you just put your line, you side it from, I like to side it from straight above, right down onto that, hold it tight and cut her off. So we can't cut anything without our blade. So let's bring the blade up. Dun, dun, dun. And I like to have, I don't know, one gullet of the blade sticking up out of there like that. I'll tighten it down, make sure the blade doesn't wobble. So, let's take a look at that. That setup looks good. So now we're going we're gonna to do the cross cuts. It's going to get a little loud and I'm not going to talk. Here we go. So that is now cut off at a perfect 90 degrees. If you take your square like that, we can't see any light through the, through the square and the top of the wood, and the square is tight to the side. So that's a perfect 90 degree cut, beautiful. All right, now if that's all it did, well that would be enough for me, but we're going to extend the jig. So a good jig lets you extend it, lets you add other pieces onto it, in other words. What I've got here, is a little stop that I can slide along the length of the fence here. So I can do uh, repeat cuts at uh, any length between here. And I think this is 14 inches. So let's do a couple of quick ones. Let's put that in there. And again, this is a, this forms 90 degrees to the fence so that the wood sits in there snugly at 90. 
So let's say your project called for you that you needed some, I don't know, three or four pieces of a particular length. Let's say this length right here. What are we looking at? That looks to be about, oh, three and a, three and a half inches roughly. So put our wood in there like that. Got a nice snug fit. Turn the saw on and cut. And remember, we're pushing the, the, the fence or the, the jig through the blade with a nice smooth motion. So right there are three pieces cut off all perfectly at the same length. So that's a really handy, handy way to extend your jig. Another handy way to extend the jig is, uh, yeah, well that's nice, but what if you have a piece of wood that's longer than your, uh, the length of your fence? Well, I'm going to use this. I'm going to combine this with yet another little jig. So I've taken a piece of uh, longer piece of stock, and what I've done is I've routed a slot into it. And I've drilled a hole in there, and I've made sure they line up perfectly. So now what I can do is I can make a sliding cutoff, and I can, just, I can adjust the length of that. So let's put that together real fast. Got a quarter inch bolt through there. Get our washer on there. And we're gonna put our wing nut on there. And that's the fun of jigs, right? I mean, you can just do all kinds of amazing things with them. So we're gonna set that jig in there. We're gonna get rid of this piece of wood. We're gonna bring our original guy back. Let's say we wanted to cut him off, I don't know, three or four inches off to the end there. So what we would do is we would put that in there right like that. You can see here off at the end where the jig is, uh, uh, the, the cutoff jig is. And again, I can slide that back and forth. So let's put our clamps on. This time maybe we'll use a couple of clamps. The beauty of this is that this, uh, this stop here also will hold the wood down while you're cutting, so it won't lift it up. And what you can do, as you can see, it slides in and out real easily. So if you had a piece of stock about, I don't know, two or three or four feet long, you could repeat, 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 cut and repeat. We're just gonna do this one. So here we go. Clamps are nice and tight. Everything looks good. Let's watch. And there again, we've got a perfect 90 degree cut on this guy. And I don't know if you were making uh, a lot of, uh, say, slats for a bed, you could really uh, cut the slots off very quickly. Uh, you could move a lot of... Uh, a lot of slots or slats through a cut like that. So um, that's the crosscut sled. Again, a really, really handy beast. This is my version of it. There are as many different types of crosscut sleds as there probably are stars in the universe. But this one works for me. I love it. I've had it uh, for a while now, and I don't plan on changing it. So as you can see, we've extended it. We've added more functionality to it, and we've made it a pretty useful tool for the table saw. So that's it for this jig.